What is up, New York Cover Guy 2018? Yeah! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Marvel Contest of Champions Content Creator Showdown! Thank you. It is a privilege and an honor to be here with you guys today. I cannot wait for the fierceness of battle that we are about to witness. Will they win? Will they lose? Probably. <laughs> but we're going to watch it anyway, and we're going to root for them. And some will boo, but most will root. So before we get into more details, I'm going to tell you the rules of the game. Each competitor will have a round to fight the big bad boss. And nobody knows who they're fighting, so we should tell them, right? Right? Sure. Let me give you a clue. He's best friends with death. Who do you think it is? Thanos. Who? Thanos. Thanos! You guys nervous? You guys nervous? Yeah. They're nervous. They'll have one round each to fight Thanos. If they fail, they'll have a second round to fight Thanos. If they all fail again, then you might as well go home, because then we didn't get the show we wanted. No. <laughs> then it's whoever did the most damage. What do they win, Josh? Well, I'll tell you. The winner, if you can't see it, I'll hold it up. A gold Deadpool statue, right, right? A mystery Marvel Unlimited box, and something that's in this bag that's also a mystery. The losers also get a prize, because we're Marvel, and we want to give things away. That's cool. A tiny little Ant-Man-sized bag, a crystal, and a tiny little mug for your tiny loser tears. Right. So without further de uh, delay, let's bring out the competitors because that's who we want to see. Let's bring out Ace, Captain Bay, and Dragon. Come on down, guys. Come on down. Come on down. So Ace, how can people follow you? Uh, I'm on YouTube. Uh, my YouTube name is Hector, but uh, I'm going to change it today so it matches all my brand names. And how long have you been playing Marvel Contest of Champions? Probably about two years now. All right, all right, all right, cool. All right, moving on, moving on. Captain Bay, Captain Bay, where can people follow you? I can be found also on YouTube and Twitter, uh, Captain Bay. Uh, it's B-A-Y, three E's at the end of it, uh, all one word. And yeah. That's it's a little confusing for us. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's just an old nickname they used to get used to do, so. And how long have you been playing Marvel Contest of Champions? Three plus years. Yeah. Three plus years. Are you nervous? He beat me. Not yet, though. No, he hasn't beaten you yet. <laughs> Not yet. All right, moving on to Dragon. Yeah. Where can people follow you? Uh, you can find me on the UMCOC Discord, so the unofficial Marvel Contest of Champions Discord. Awesome. And how long have you been playing Marvel Contest of Champions? Three and a half years since the winter it came out. She beat you, boys. She beat you. Bye. No, I'm just kidding. You can say. You can say. You can say. So we want to bring the hype up even further because it's Marvel Contest of Champions. So I'm going to bring my good friend Simon. And if you don't know him, he's the champion designer. <laughs> Senor Simon. Simon, how are you feeling today? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, yeah a little bit surprised. Well, you look great. You look great. Oh, thank you. Yeah, of course. I've been working out. You've been working out? No, not at all. So Simon is going to be commentating the match that we're about to fi find and see who wins. It'll be interesting to see if they choose a more aggressive character looking for damage, seeing if they can get the early win and just take him down in one shot. Or if you take a more defensive character, might not do as much damage, but a little bit easier to survive. And so making use of the full timer. So it'll be interesting. You guys taking notes? No, they've got a pen and paper. All right, Simon, feel free to go on my right. Ladies and gentlemen, to make this even more interesting, when I say what the loser gets, a tiny mug for their tiny, you will say tears. Yeah, there we go. A tiny mug for their tiny? Tears. Oh, that's good. What champion will you be using? Uh, I'll be using the crowd favorite, Star Spidey. Star Spidey. All right, all right. So how do you feel about this challenge now that you'll be fighting Thanos? Uh, I'm a little nervous. Uh, I didn't really practice, but uh, here we go. You didn't practice? Shrug. If he wins, I'm going to, wow. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. So I know you're the first up, so you're going to set the bar high. So what, uh, what strategy are you looking to implement? Um, build my poise and uh, go to town. All right. Do we want to see? Do you want to see this? You want to see this? All right, Ace. I'm going to get out of your way. 
So Ace is going with Stark Spider-Man here. It's a solid choice. Uh, at our booth championship yesterday, uh, Legacy came up with the win with the Stark Spider-Man. So maybe that's uh, a little bit of inspiration. We'll see how it goes. I'm being told they're even alliance mates. So perhaps there's some collusion happening here. Who knows? <laughs> All right. Always, always a good choice to check out the boosts and the buffs. Take a quick look at the info page for Thanos here, just to remind himself of exactly what challenges lie ahead. Now, this is a boss that they will have seen before in the content we released into the game a couple of months ago. Here we go. So Stark Spider-Man does a lot of damage, but he needs to build these poise charges. So you can see he's using his dexterity to dodge Thanos here. That's going to give him an awful lot of damage, but it's definitely going to take some time for him to build these up. So he's going to need to get them up to 10 as quickly as he can, and then just get in there and do some damage. All right, stage one. Thanos' first stage is the Genesis Stone, and you can see he's activated the Genesis Aura there. That's going to do damage to Stark Spider-Man if he gets too close, but a stun will disable it, just like that parry there. Yeah. Beautiful special one, chained right off the end of the 5-hit combo. Dexterity is on point, but the Genesis Aura is back up. He's going to need to land another stun to disable it, or he can just, there it is, perfect parry. 5 hit combo to follow, and we're moving on. Stage 2, Chaos Stone. Chaos Stone is actually going to invert his controls every time Thanos triggers his special attack at him. And so that is really just something you can only skill your way through. You've got to master your own muscle memory. We're all so used to just dashing in, dashing out. There's another 5 hit combo. Created a special one. Well done. There's a stun. Follow it up for some more, but Thanos is sitting on his special attack now. There it is. Dexterity 1. Just going to block these. And then back in. There's the punish. And another special attack right out of that combo. And he's following up that special one stun. He's pushing Thanos towards his third mode. And Thanos is at 40% health, which means he's gone stunning him now. Perry's not going to work for him anymore. And the special one is just worth damage. All right, and the Warstone activation. This is the third stage. All right, Thanos is going to build to his special three, and there's nothing he can do to stop him. So he's just going to have to do as much damage as he can as quickly as he can. And watch out for that unstoppable war. There it is. So for him to get around that, he's going to have to intercept Thanos. Oh, we're straight into the special three. But Stark Enhanced Spider-Man is an Avenger, so he'll only take 10% damage from this. But I think, oh, perhaps not. It's not like I work on this game or anything. But that's okay, he was going to run out of time on the timer anyway. Ace. Yes, 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 yes! Come over here, come over here. So if you could implement a different strategy, what could you have done differently? Um, just not taking those block hits because most of his damage comes when he's over 50% health. For sure. Ace, thank you so much. Do you want to head over to the right with your other competitors? Will Ace win a tiny mug for his tiny... Yeah. Or will he win? Let's bring up Captain Bay. Come on down, come on down. Feel free to take a seat, take a seat. In the hot seat, the hot seat. So Captain, yes. you said you've been playing this game for about three years. Yes. What champion will you be using? I will also be using Stark Enhanced Spider-Man. All right, all right, all right. So he's gonna go ahead and choose that Spidey. Simon, take it away. All right, we're going to see Stark Spider-Man round two. So we'll see that same build up at the beginning, but he's definitely he's going to have to see if he can stay above 50% health so he keeps that big damage from Stark. And the always advised double check of the abilities. Always advised. All right, looks like he's ready to go. Limber up, and here we go. Looking for that opening parry? No. He's just going to start dexterity. That's a better idea anyway. Two charges in. See how quickly he can build up those charges, and when he decides that that's enough of that, and he's just going to try and do some damage. The heavy bait is just going to go for it, and it's going to push him over that 95% threshold into his Genesis Stone Aura. Interesting, he chose not to punish the heavy attack there, but probably because he had the aura active and he couldn't stun him. Five hit combo, no special attack. Looks like he's probably going to save that special meter, so that there it is, the special attack. He'll have that special one in the chamber, and he'll land a real quick stun here and see how much damage he can get in. We're almost halfway through the round. 
Beautiful five hit combo. Again, he chooses not to use that special attack. Looks like he might be building for the special two. There's an awful lot of damage locked behind Stark's special two attack. Oh, but he stayed close while that Genesis Aura was up. That cost him, I don't know, something like 10, 15% health bar there. But there's the parry. Get in for the punish, and we're moving into the Chaos Dome. All right, now he's gonna... I heard somebody shout Nightmare. I know that's one of Thanos' other abilities. Hopefully I'm not getting all of this one. Beautiful five hit combo. There's that special too. Not quite enough to push him down into the war zone. Oh, he ate that special attack clean. Not even Stark's evade could save him, and that's all she wrote. Let's give it up for Captain Bay! Oh, Captain, my Captain. How do you think you fared? I mean, it was a little slow start. I was trying to get, get up to that special two. It just kind of wasn't really worried. I was trying to get the parry stuns. It wasn't coming in. And then that last bit there, you know, I dashed back. But it, it just game, sometimes the game just doesn't register. Could I just say that you said before you played that you practiced on an iPad? Yes, I did. That is confirmed. That's why there's a second round, though. So, so if she doesn't take it down, we'll get another chance. So we'll get in the second round. All right, sir. Thank you so much. Will Captain Bay win the tiny mug for his tiny? Or will he win? We will find out. Dragon, oh, well, you're ready, you're ready to go. Yes, please. Yes. Here's someone who thinks ahead, everybody. I like this. Let's give it up for Dragon. So uh, how you feeling? Very nervous, but hey, I'm going to have fun with it. Yes, you're going to have fun. I love that. What champion uh, will you be choosing? So I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to use Gwenpool going into this fight. All right, yeah, Gwenpool. All right, let's see. Let's see what Dragon's got. I wonder why she chose Gwenpool. Gwenpool would be pretty good in the, all the level three. All right, she's going all the way for the big attack. She wants that armor break, the extra damage. The natural stun based on the number of bleed stacks she puts on Thanos will be a lot of help up until she hits the 40% health mark when Thanos goes fully stun immune. She'll also get a little bit of help from the uh, signature ability from Gwenpool. It will prevent any individual special attack from killing her. She'll have to fall to a basic attack from Thanos. Here we go. Misses the opening parry, but that's all right. It's all right. Gwenpool's also going to have a bit of an event. Oh, no. Oh, Thanos with an opening five-hit combo there. There's the parry, though. So as we are saying, Gwenpool does have a bit of an advantage. She does not need any ramp up. She's just going to immediately start doing damage to Thanos. And here we go, into the Genesis Aura. Oh, no parry there, so just dashing in and out. Oh, again, missing the parry, but she'll punish on the, on the heavy attack. All right, we talked about a special three going in, but she's actually going to leave with a special one. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's OK, the signature ability from Gwenpool there, keeping that damage totally manageable. All right, we're finding our footing here, getting that timing down. Oh, risky attack into the block there, but there's another pair to follow that up. Special 2. Special 2 is a big deal for Gwenpool. The innervate ability prevents power gain when she's striking her opponent. However, Thanos is immune to power manipulation, so she's only going to get the damage from that. Uh-oh. Holding there. And there's another parry. Here we go. We're finding that rhythm again. We've played this before. We've played this before. Thanos has got a special attack ready, so she's going to have to keep that in mind. There it is. And she's going with the... Oh, no. 2% health, and that's all she wrote. Let's give it up for Dragon. Yes. Dragon, step this way. Step this way. I want to say I loved how you choose a different character, unlike some people. <laughs> Not going to say names. Captain Bay. <clears throat> yep. How do you think you did? Horribly, but hey, it was fun. I thought you did great. I mean, you did better than I would have done. I'll tell you that. So what strategy could you implement now that we're going to a round two? It's like overtime. I love it. What strategy could you implement going forward? I might have to go with Stark Spider-Man. I didn't want to. After I just said that? After I just said No, I don't blame you. I might have to, yes. I don't blame you at all. Dragon, thank you so much. So before we bring them back up, Simon, recap what we just saw with those three battles. All right, well, we had two Stark Spider-Mans. Stark spider man pretty good champion for this fight. He's got an awful lot of damage potential, and he's got that built-in evade for the special attacks, just in case you get a little nervous, that dexterity timing isn't quite what you feel. 
The Gwenpool was an interesting choice, definitely a more defensive choice, didn't need the same ramp up. She could just try and get aggressive right away. Looks like she may be shaking up that strategy going forward. Uh, we also saw a little bit of Luke Cage at our, our uh, booth championship earlier. There were a couple of couple of summoners who did quite well there. It's another champion that's a little bit more on the defensive side, doesn't take as much ramp, so maybe we'll see somebody shake up their choice. Who would you choose if you were in this competition? It's interesting. Stark Spider-Man was definitely on my list. Luke Cage was also on my list when I was thinking, thinking ahead of time. Um, trying to think who I actually used to beat this champion when this quest was live. I think I, think I leaned into the Scarlet Witch. I beat her. Like, yeah, I just sort of like toughed it through with a four star and Scarlet Witch turned out to be my hero because she could eat those special threes. And with that, what would you do differently than what you've seen? Uh, I would definitely get hit less. <laughs> yes. Ladies and gentlemen, it is officially overtime. Round two, the rules as follows. If they all perish, the person who has done the most damage to Thanos will win. If you do not, you will win a tiny mug for your tiny. <laughs> Every time it feels so good. Ace, all right, my man. Round two, what are you gonna do differently? Uh, get hit a little bit less. T taking it a page from Simon, all right, all right, I like that. Okay, Stark Spider Ren, that's cool, that's cool, we've done this before. We're warmed up on our Spark Stark Spidey facts. <clears throat> all right, so this should look very similar to round one, but hopefully he's loosened up a little bit, getting used to being on the stage, and we're gonna be a little bit more consistent on that dexterity and that parry. Keep your eyes on that damage, keep your eyes on that damage. All right, here we go. Yeah, looking for the opening dexterity, but Thanos plays defense right away. Bait the heavy attack, and he's going to take the damage because he can get it. Yeah, first poise charge stacked, second poise charge stacked. Look at this dance, in and out, in and out. There we go. This man looks like he's done this before. Five charges, there's the parry. All right, that's it, we're going for it. Into the first stone. Genesis Lord it is. So again, if we don't remember, we're going to need to land a parry or any other stun effect, which is a special one that he does not have available. No, we're just going to keep looking for those poise charges for now. And first special attack out of the way. He's got nine to ten charges. It might be about time. There's the tenth charge. Now it's time to do as much damage as he can, as quickly as he can. Full five hit combo. No special attack. Good parry coming out of that, though. And here we go. All right. Round two, inverted controls. He doesn't dash in right away, but he gets the parry. Oh, see, there you go. There's the inverted controls, folks. That was supposed to be a medium attack. But there's the parry. All right, good, good, good. He's got a special two ready. He's gonna do as much damage as he can here. Boom, look at that. And that is Stark Spider-Man, ladies and gentlemen. All right, unstoppable war. He's gonna need to get an intercept to get rid of that unstoppable, or he's just gonna have to burn as much time as he can. Oh, now that he's caught by the unstoppable, there's no intercept there. In and out, and here's the special three. Does he have 57%? It's gonna definitely bring him below that 50% hit marker. Maybe he'll survive. Maybe. 8% health, he's still oh up, God. it's not over yet. Oh, he has the one, there it is. Oh, I thought he might have had it there, folks. Ace, was that 22%? Judge, judge says 22%. Woo! Right here in the middle, in the middle. That was some amazing playing. How do you feel? I uh, feel better than last time. I'll tell you that. You did better than last time, right? Yeah, I think you did. So, do you think these two competitors have what it takes to defeat you? Oh, absolutely not. Woo! You're about, you're about to stand with them. You sure you don't want to answer that question again? Uh. <laughs> oh, you heard him. He's going to be next to him. Let's bring out Captain Bay. Let's hear it for Captain Bay. Let's hear it for Captain Bay. Let's hear it for Captain Bay. Cap, you have a lot of fans in the audience. I do. 22% or lower. No, lower than 22 If you tie, I don't even know what happens if you tie. Let's not even go there. Lower than 22% or a win. Do you think you have it in you? I do. It's a good number that uh, Hector put up there, but I'm going to you know, take in mind what I did the first time and make my, not make the same mistakes, uh, and hopefully I'd take it down there. All right. All right. You heard him. Sticking with the same champion, Simon. That's all all right. Do. Stark Spider-Man round four. So there's, not, there's no difference between the champions and these players, so it's just all down to skill. Here we go. See if that iPad practice pays off. <laughs> no initial parry because he wants the poise charges. No, we just take the damage from the heavy attack there. 
and gets a taunt in place. That'll help him once Thanos actually gets his special attacks ready. It's a lot of in and out. Got to build those point charges as quickly as possible. All of these summoners are going with the, the long-term strategy. Thanos is not behaving. See, that's one of the risks to doing these longer strategies. If the AI doesn't want to do what you want them to do, you can burn an awful lot of clock. Oh, you, I thought he had the parry timing there, but not. And he is going to go for the special one right away. That'll turn that Genesis Aura right back off. And we're all the way down to the Chaos Stone. The inverted controls, again, playing very defensively. He needs to land a hit to clear the inverted controls, and there it is. Again, Thanos is building towards that special attack. Is he going to use the special? No, he's going to sit on it. Might be building the special two, looking for the big damage. Beautiful timing on that dexterity. One, two, and in for the punish. Perfectly done. And a nice four hit, and then back into the intercept. And there's the big special two for all the damage. This is going to be enough. not quite going to push him into his third mode, but that do damage over time effect will get him there. And there it is. All right. Warstone, everybody. He's going to look for that. Oh, no, he went in. He got caught by the unstoppable. He's got to land an intercept here to clear that unstoppable. A second time. Same mistake. Same mistake. There we go. The unstoppable's gone. He might be feeling the pressure here. He needs 4%. Oh, this is just about the same health that Ace had. He may just barely survive this. 4% health. He's still in the game. Oh, he just went straight for the special attack. Thanos is going to have an opportunity to punish the special. And there it is. A tie. I jinxed it. I jinxed it. I said a tie's not going to happen, and it did. A tie happened. Dragon, I, you better win. <laughs> we, don't, we don't want no tie. We ain't got time for no tie. All right, Captain. That was tremendous. Wow. How did that feel? It felt pretty good. I would have liked it to do at least one more percent damage, ideally, but... I mean, yeah, of course, obviously. Yeah, my thought process there was I missed a couple of the other... I was trying to time an intercept there to get rid of that unstoppable, and I figured try to come right out of that, catch him with the SP2, get rid of it and get a big crit on it. He blocked it, but luckily he took him out 22. And hopefully, maybe me and Hector have a, a battle off here. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Man, if we have a third overtime, good, I can't even imagine. Captain, thank you so much. Yeah. Give it up for Captain. Oh my goodness. Dragon, into the hot seat. And just because I want to do this again, the losers will win a tiny mug for their tiny. Yes. Dragon. Your goal is to get 22%. Can you do it? I don't know. I want to see a showdown between these two. So. I want to see a showdown with all three of you again. They all got 22%? Oh, man, I'm going to drop this like $50,000 microphone and then lose my job. Yeah, please don't do that. That's a bad idea. No, it will not happen. So are you sticking with the same champion? No, I am not. You going with what? You going with Cap? I am going with Captain Infinity War, yes. Woo! So, OK. Before you hit that start button, Simon, Cap, give us a little rundown on that. This will be interesting. Uh, Cap has a lot of power in his synergies, which he's not going to be able to access in this fight. However, his resonate charges could get her out of quite a bit of damage. Although his yeah, block proficiency is excellent. It'll help keep her health bar high, but she's going to need to land lots of parries and lots of blocks to be able to build up those charges to then convert with a heavy attack into her furies. So there's a lot of damage potential there, but there's also a lot of places where she could slip up. So it's going to take pretty high level performance here. Do you have what it takes? We shall see. We shall see. And here we go. Give it up for Dragon. Give it up for Dragon. OK, here we go. So. One nice thing about Cap is he's not going to have to build those poise charges. He does need these resonate charges to convert for his furies, but she'll be able to do that just as she does damage to Thanos. And she's going to want to land lots of parries, especially through this first, first stone aura here to keep disabling the Genesis aura. And so that's going to be great, but she will probably find things more difficult when she gets Thanos below his 40% health threshold and her parry stops working. So already you see that the resonate charge saved her from quite a bit of damage there. We haven't seen a heavy attack yet. No, she goes straight in for the special two. Still no heavies to convert those furies, and the resonate charges have expired. So far, so good. Oh, the chip damage is enough to push his aura. Here we go with the inverted controls. Playing a little bit defensive until the controls come back to normal. 
There's the first hit. The controls are normal again. And the parries are back on point. Thanos is playing defense. He's dashing away. And there's a special attack. Perfect timing. Block, dexterity, but no punish. All right. The controls are back to normal. Single hit does not follow up with a full combo there. Five hit combo. There's the special two. Second combo there. I still haven't seen a heavy attack, though. She's not going to unlock all of Cap's damage potential unless she can convert some of those resonate charges into Furies. Another nice parry, though. Clears the inverted controls. Thanos is playing a little bit more defense. Another good parry. And again, a couple of... And then she's past that 40% threshold, so she's not going to be able to get a stun to find a window for that heavy attack anymore. Nice dexterity, but again, no punish at the end of that special attack. Leaving some damage potential on the table there. 30% health, is she gonna get there? There it is, all right. We need 8% and eight seconds, that's gonna be tough. Back into the unstoppable mode, couple of hits. Three, two, one. Oh. Let's give it up for Dragon. Dragon, that was amazing. <laughs> come here, come here, that was amazing. Better. Yes. Better. How do you think you did? How, how do you feel? Uh, I feel pretty good, especially since I didn't do ideally well my first round. So that was a lot better. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Absolutely. Tie. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring both of the tie to the tires. Is that a word? Let's bring, let's bring Captain Bay and Ace here. Let's go shoulder to shoulder. I'll be in the middle. Gentlemen, I have never before seen this happen on stage before. You're about to go toe to toe with each other. How do you feel? Nervous. I'm ready. <laughs> you want to change your answer again? Absolutely not. All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dragon just won a prize, a tiny mug for her tiny. Yeah. Congratulations, Dragon. Ace, you. you will be first. You Captain Bay, you will be in okay. the deck. Oh man, this is for all the marbles. Will you be changing your strategy? Absolutely not. Are you still nervous? Absolutely. Okay, Stark Spider-Man is back. He's into the tiebreaker round and he thinks his strategy was just execution. That was the only problem there. So, right back to Starkey. And here we go, looking for the dexterity, looking to build those poise charges. So far, Thanos is doing exactly what he wants him to do, and he's been very on point with his dexterities. Uh, that one's going to be a parry instead, and he's going to choose to take that opportunity to push him into his first stone. All right, now he needs now he needs a stun to get that Genesis Aura off of him, which is going to keep him from being able to build his poise charges. No, nope, he's just going to going to do it anyway. There we go. And there's the first stun, up to six poise charges. Got pretty pretty good crits there. No dexterity on either of those hits though. That was a couple of poise charges left on the table. Good dexterity work there, though. Uh-oh, that's a bit of a slip up. That's gonna give Thanos some of his health back. Considering these two tied the last time they came up, every percent of health is important. Let's this time we're gonna get the dexterity. Ace, there it is. Ace, Ace, All right. Ace, he Ace, chooses not Ace. to use his special attack. That could have stunned him out of the Genesis Aura right there. All right, stage two, inverted controls. No immediate punish. Gonna play a little bit of defense here. Perhaps feeling just a little bit of the nerves, but there we go. Back onto the normal controls. And there's the big special two. All right, not quite as lucky on the crits there. Uh-oh. Oh, oh my god. Whew. Lucky got a block up there. Still looks like he's building up for that special two again. I think he might be want I think he might want that special two ready when he pushes Thanos into the final aura. Because Thanos will Oh no, he's just gonna throw it. He's gonna throw it to take the damage he can get right now. Here we go. Mode three, unstoppable war. Again, he's gonna need to find an intercept to disable that unstoppable, or he's just gonna have to wait until it expires on his own, which is going to cost him an awful lot of time. 22 seconds, 22% again. That looks familiar. Oh, and that's going to be it. We're just going to have to watch no, Thanos what? pummel him into the ground. What? And 22% seems to be the magic number here. I just want to specify, if Captain Bay gets 22%, it will be on the specific damage number this time. All right, oh, Ace, get over here. Oh, I, know. I would like to say you moved forward, but I think you just stayed where you were. Dude, How do you think you did? 
Uh, the same as last time, man. <laughs> was it because you were nervous? Always. Always, always. Well, hey, you did great. Go ahead and hang over there. We're going to go ahead and bring Captain Bay in. Let's hear it for Captain Bay. Which one of these gentlemen will win a tiny mug for their tiny? Yeah. Sir, if you get 22%, you do not tie again. Okay. It is based on damage count. Yes. How are you feeling? Confident. Where are you from? Sacramento, California. Sacramento! Yeah. Dude, I'm from Lafayette, California. Hey! Look at that. I kind of want him to win now, I'm sorry. No. All right, my friend, you ready? Yes. Here we go. Simon, take it away. All right, the last round. Stark Spider-Man's coming up again. We know what he, he knows what he needs to do. We know what he needs to do. Now he just needs to do it. All right, initial run in. Thanos is going to back off. He's looking to bait him in, start building the poise charges again. First dexterity, no problem. Thanos is playing an awful lot of defense here. There's the dexterity again. A little bit of chip damage on that first block. Oh, Thanos is really, maybe Thanos is feeling the nerves here. It's just defense after defense. Here we go. Now he's getting a bit of rhythm. Now he's getting that rhythm down. Now yeah, he's going to take the opportunity, punish that heavy attack. And here we go. Genesis Aura time. Needs that first stun. Probably going to find it with a parry. There it is. And now it's all about how much damage can he do and how quickly can he do it. Oh, beautiful second parry. All sorts of damage right off the bat here. And two, there it is. And he's in for the punish. He's taking an awful lot of damage from that Genesis Order, but he gets the stun, and we're moving on to the Chaos Stone. Okay, here we go, inverted controls. Again, chooses not to get, not to get aggressive, doesn't go in for the initial punish, and he's just gonna play a bit more defense. The inverted controls will wear off, gets the first parry, but he reacts like his inverted controls were still active. First dexterity, second dexterity. Oh, Thanos is on the ball. Could have followed that up. He got a lucky second hit in there. But he's going to get another full combo here. Chooses not to chain the special one on the end. Again, looks like Captain Bay's building up for that big damage special two, similar to Ace. 40% health left. 30 seconds on the clock. This is very, very possible. 30 Okay, here we go. Final stone, Unstoppable War. Again, we're going to need an intercept. The parry's not going to work anymore. He's going to dexterity. Ooh, that, was, that could have been the fight right there. Still in and out, chipping into the, chipping into the block. All right, all right. The we question here is, seconds, 14 yeah. seconds. will there be any time left on the clock coming Ten, out of this special? Nine. Okay. He's just going to hope for the chip damage. Four seconds, three seconds, 23%. And that's it. One percent. Oh, Hector did a great job. Uh, just didn't come up with came up that close. close. Ladies and gentlemen, Dragon, if you want to come here for a second before we bring the winner up, let's give a huge shout out to Dragon and Captain Bay. <laughs> they won tiny mugs for their tiny. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Do you want to go ahead to the right? We'll get you your prize in just a little bit. Let's bring the content creator champion. I'm going to let you hold this. Don't break it. You're playing with death there. And you fought death, almost. Ace, you just won. How does it feel to be a winner? It feels great. You still nervous? No, not at all. The game is free to play, guys. You saw this? This was epic. Don't forget to check us out at Marvel. And this is Marvel Live.